Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Taurus, June 13, 2022. Cooperation comes more readily than usual today, and energy is lively and creative around you. Conversations are animated and primarily light-hearted. What comes to light today may take a few days to truly sink in. Today's transits are especially good for looking at your life differently, especially private, personal, self-worth, and financial matters. Outside-of-the-box thinking brings rewards. You may wish to share something personal with a trusted person in your life, and it comes as a relief. You're in a great position to make small changes in your life that lead to significant improvements. You more readily see areas that would benefit from improved approaches, including projects and attitudes. Working under the radar is likely, and it's useful and fruitful to do so. Still, it's a time for branching out and coming up with novel ways to approach your world and express your feelings. You want to move forward freer and lighter, and a change of pace feels right. Even with this upbeat, forward-looking energy, it's a day for winding down. New beginnings should wait. Your red-hot planetary ruler, Mars, continues to travel alongside its divine counterpart, Venus via your bossy 10th house of authority, so in addition to attracting those who gather at the C-suite, you're also looking the part. Whether you're single or already romantically attached, the effects of this celestial synergy are validating your desire for something long-lasting and perhaps even traditional. Keep in mind that the North Node of Fate via your second house of value systems will face off with the wounded healer, Chiron, in your sign today. Leave the past where it belongs, the path is clearing. Who do you enjoy working with, and what brings you joy? As the moon leaves Libra for Scorpio, your mental processes may shift from career to community. In a perfect world, you should have a wide, supportive professional network to fall back on or seek out when you need help. However, this may not always be the case. So, use the lunar power to invest in groups, connections, and networking opportunities to meet supportive individuals in your field. After all, you never know who you could connect with or where networking could lead. The week is barely a few days old but already the moon has managed to form a friendly aspect to the north node in your income sector and now, as it returns to an intuitive and imaginative part of your chart it is set to do the same for the other side of the financial fence. This is helping to boost your confidence, especially when it comes to a creative approach to money matters. Have you ever been happier? Well, maybe back when you were a kid but right now you're feeling pretty happy to be just exactly where you are. Enjoy this rare energy. It's not easy to break with tradition, but you are somewhat known for taking the road less traveled. Sometimes the road less traveled for you, however, is the traditional one. Give yourself a break today and follow a very simple plan. Eat only the freshest food available to you, exercise but take special care of your joints, yoga or swimming followed by a sauna if possible, and get to bed early. Your next break from the norm will be empowered by this respite. It's a brand new month and a fresh cycle is starting. You can't get a better day than this day to get the action happening in your life. As a one, you are probably well known for your abilities to take the initiative and get things underway. However, it can be especially important for you to think these things through first before committing. A lack of follow-through is something also akin to being a one. Provided the project you start is exciting and can hold your interest, you shouldn't have too much trouble sticking with it until the end. With Mercury spending his last weekend in a fun, playful, romantic and creatively charged part of your chart and Venus and Uranus aligned here, this is the perfect excuse to fully embrace the weekend spirit. While Mercury will leave in two days, Venus is here for another week and in that time she will continue to guard against life becoming all work and no play. With Mercury joining the Sun in your work sector in two days and Mars destined to spend much of the second half of the year here, this couldn't be more important. To have Venus and Uranus spend the weekend aligned in your romantic sector is a case of perfect timing. While it was a given that they would align, 
having it happen over the weekend will make it easier to make the spirit of romance a priority and to seize the serendipitous moments and or encounters they will be working to create. Our eyes in the sky. During this time, psychic perceptions, emotional sensitivities, and dreams could be more vivid. We might question our intuition and second-guess our hunches. Be prepared to swim in the deep end of the ocean for the next few months. Let your heart navigate through the murky waters ahead. Our intuition has been strong, but now we're starting to question ourselves, which will be the ongoing vibe until December. Stay true to your inner feelings and don't veer from your instincts. Even though it might be challenging, follow your heart. Only it can lead you toward the truth. Relationships could prove to be more confusing than ever because you may not feel supported by your peers. Don't shy away from confrontation. Speak up and let your feelings be heard rather than hold in your emotions. Your career direction could be cloudier than ever if you're unsure what next steps are needed to increase your bank account and reach your professional goals. You could try creating a vision board and listing your plans for the future only to get lost in a Neptunian daydream but it can still give you some direction for creating the future and life that you truly want for yourself. In the early morning, the moon squares off with Chiron in Aries and sees us chastising ourselves for past failures. The Scorpio moon can be punishing, defining success in terms of influence. And during its square to Chiron, we might struggle with self-esteem. In our youth, a parent or person of authority may have chided our passions, suggesting that we didn't have what it takes to make it an impact, and we have adopted this critical tone as adults in self-defense. At this time, we should consider the kind of leader we want to be, one who leads with courage and takes risks, or one who is modeled after those early life naysayers, who used their power to keep others small. How we behave now sets an example for those around us, so choose wisely. Following this connection, the moon trines Uranus in Taurus. A change in perspective necessitates a shift in ideals, and although the Scorpio moon still has us consumed with upholding a legacy, impressing those who have come before us and leaving a mark for those who come after, Uranus reminds us that our task is to update these expectations, not to replicate them. We exist in the here and now, and we cannot greet the future by imitating the past. When we embrace the unexpected, we liberate ourselves, revising our conditioning through a marriage of common sense and progressive ideology.